So seven months ago, we talked about IONET for the very first time on this channel. We talked about it alongside of a video on Render and Akash. Just really talking about the top three AI crypto projects in the space. Now, uh, the likes of IONET has come a long way from its very early beginnings and to where it is today. In fact, uh, it had its token generation event just a few days ago and just recently did an airdrop which was worth thousands of dollars for a lot of individuals. Uh, and some of us made a killing because we got in extremely early. This is one that I talked about several times. Uh, and then more recently talked about a lot of the allegations against its CEO, who uh, ironically stepped down two days before the token itself launched. And so now there's been a lot of recent developments A new CEO is in, uh, and I think the, the project as a whole is on the right track uh, and the right trajectory. So that said, it's time to revisit IONET, talk about the project as a whole, because there's still more opportunities as season two comes into play for possible passive income. So all that and more in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Alex, talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like that, consider subscribing. You enjoyed this video, smash up the like. Without further ado, let's end the video. So while the majority of the cryptocurrency market has been extremely volatile in the last 24 hours, uh, projects like Ionet are up almost 30%. It actually hit an all-time high, close to around $6.50 earlier today. It was absolutely uh, on a tear. And as you can see, there was $1.7 billion in trading volume in just the last 24 hours. So uh, to consider the launch of the token a success is really an understatement, uh, considering a lot of the things that you know have kind of clinged to the past of Ionet. Now that said, as I mentioned in my uh, X post today, the the changes that have recently happened at ionet really shape reshape its future moving forward and i think that's probably why we saw such a successful tge token generation event so when you compare uh, and, and we'll kind of just dive into it, everything ionet and, and bring everyone up to speed with with some of the things that happen and, and they kind of look at what are the opportunities of ionet is it currently overvalued if it is is there opportunity to still make passive income? Are there ways to be able to collect $5,000, $10,000 in future airdrops from the likes of Ionet? Uh, because there are people that made that much. Uh, I myself made quite a bit from the airdrop also, and I'll give you the link that if you want to check, if you're running a, uh, you're supplying your GPU through the likes of Ionet, you can check to see if you got any points and then via the points, uh, claim any IO tokens. I uh, realize it is uh, GPS and location restrictive. So depending on where you are, whether you use a VPN for uh, bypass, that is up to you. So let's just very briefly look at uh, Ionet and Aether uh, was one that also recently launched. We've talked about both of these projects on the channel. Um, Aether significantly smaller, uh, I would say, as far as market cap. Uh, and then you can also see volume not nearly as high if this is accurate. Uh, and then the TV, the the fully diluted valuation is at just over three billion, and Ionet is at four point six billion. So the the biggest thing that you're going to realize is Ionet from a fully diluted valuation is extremely overvalued, at least in my opinion, based on the utilization of the network. So. That's something that you have to understand is just because Ionet may have access to 25,000 GPUs, if you only have a one or 2% utilization rate, it doesn't really make it that, wor the, the value doesn't really match up uh, because there's not demand for the, the product. There, there's a, a massive, massive supply, but there's not enough demand to meet that supply. And so there, there is a, a bit of a, a disconnect to a certain degree based off of that. So I think for, for a certain degree, you, you're going to see Ionet being highly valued just because it's popular. It's on Solana. Um, and there's a lot of positive things, including the uh, Ionet CEO who stepped down due to a lot of allegations. We did a whole video uh, about this. And I said the truth, it, Ionet is a scam question uh, mark because it, I don't think the project is a scam. 
I've been involved in the project since what October. This is October of last year. This is how long I've been involved in Ionet. I've been involved in Akash and Render since 2021. So the, the GPU decentralized computing AI niche of crypto is not anything new to me. Uh, but and that was one of the reasons that I knew getting into Ionet was going to be such a possible potential return on investment due to the fact of providing my GPU and the potential of an airdrop could have been extremely lucrative. So that did be that was the case but there there obviously when it comes to a project not only does a project have to be good the leadership behind the project has to match up because you could have a great project but have um questionable leadership and the project really goes nowhere and it fails we've seen that before with crypto projects such as planet watch that had some questionable leadership decisions project was actually good uh but it failed right and you saw the token price reflective of that. So I think the decision by uh, Ahmad uh, or Ahmed to step away, step down two days before the token launched, obviously a lot of people are gonna have their personal opinions on his decision. There's also uh, some things that as we dive into this video, the new CEO addresses kind of the, the transitionary process. In my opinion, I think this was in the best interest of investors who had invested into the token, those who had been computing, providing their compute resources, because obviously you don't want to launch something where a significant majority of the community has questions about the leadership that doesn't bode well in a token launch. And in this instance of an IPO, right? Imagine a CEO of a company having a lot of allegations against him as they're getting ready to go public. The stock's probably not going to do really well. So. I think that the stepping aside, regardless of the reason and the, the discussion and the things that were said, I think this change of leadership relieves a lot of the concerns people had about the potential leadership at IONET, and that is what is going to pave the path forward for the growth of this project. So in the end, IONET, in my opinion, was never a scam. Were there some things that were questionable that were done by leadership, in my opinion? from what I saw and from the, the prior history, yes. And, and I decided to point that out in a video, which you know I, I don't think my video influenced uh, the CEO to step down, but it just opened the eyes of individuals who were looking at this project and wanted to have a, a, a different perspective and a word of caution. So either way, when you do look at Ionet, I think it is completely overvalued compared to the likes of Render, which is sitting at 4.9 billion uh so it almost has a similar fully diluted value as render which has partnerships with apple so i, I think it's completely overvalued to that degree uh, a lot of people say well the market cap of render is at 3.6 billion well that's great but you also have to realize that the overall circulating supply is also significantly higher it's not 11 percent right so there, there's a big differentiating factor that you have to realize there's going to be a ton of emissions on the side of ionet uh, which is going to go to those who are providing computer resources and other metrics as well. So do be aware of that. That is one of those things that also happened to Akash is Akash still has only 61% of the total circulating supply out there. If you look at prior history, there's been times where Akash, when we talked about it back in 2021, absolutely pumped, hit an all-time high back here at around, what, $7, $8. And there was a ton of emissions, token unlocks, uh, and that was one of the reasons that I think we saw a, a downward spiral in price. Outside of that, you also had the market correction as well. But overall, you know, you're, you're going to see projects that have a ton more emissions to occur not do as well because of so much of the potential sell pressure. Doesn't mean that just because an unlock happens, sell pressure is going to immediately happen. It's just one of the concerns that obviously individuals have in the back of their minds. So overall, um, it has three times the total, uh, the the three times the fully diluted valuation of Akash, which I think is also uh, highly skewed and, in my opinion, overvalued. So that's just my opinion. I think there with the likes of Ionet, obviously the the launch is hyped up. I think it's successful in its launch. I think some of the decisions were great. I'm, I'm expecting this to cool down to a large degree, but this is still an opportunity for those who have GPUs to set up your worker, to allocate your resources, to earn in season two for potential airdrop as well. So it's not one of those things that just because you missed the first time, you're not gonna be able to earn again. You have those opportunities available to you. So 
Uh, the website as itself, we've already kind of done a deep dive into it. Uh, this is one of my workers. I have a 2080 Ti. I have my other two GPUs either running Heurist AI or running Nimble Network uh, or running other AI models, machine learning models uh, that are either pre-mining or early opportunities. Like I said, when you look at getting in early on the ground floor for the likes of IONet, which is obviously a much larger project, People earned five, six, seven thousand dollars in airdrops. Not you didn't have to buy anything. You just took your GPU and you allocated that GPU as resources. Maybe that GPU was never used, but you earned that airdrop. So and the same thing that I am very bullish on the likes of Heurist AI and Nimble Network, allocating your GPU, providing some compute and being rewarded in the either points tokens that then get transferred into tokens upon TGE. And it could be worth hundreds, it could be worth thousands, and it could be worth very little, but that's kind of the chance that you take. Obviously, this is one that was extremely rewarding. So uh, overall, uh, you, one of the things that you're, you are gonna see from the, the CEO is, is a little bit more um, vocal, I guess, now that he's not in the CEO role. There's, there's a lot of back and forth between Akash and the likes of Ionet, considering the fact that Ionet has a larger fully diluted value than the likes of Akash, even though uh, there's still some bugs in the Ionet system. So uh, you can see Shadid, who is the, the ex-CEO. Uh, IO has 24 times more GPUs than Render and 60 times more than Akash. So you're gonna see kind of this back and forth. Um, in fact, you saw uh, over here, Greg Osuri, uh, who's the co-founder, the founder and uh, CEO of uh, Akash talking about, hey, you know, I paid for four A100 GPUs, but got an RTX A4000 instead. It's like paying for an iPhone and getting a Nokia 3600 or 36, yeah, 3600. So anyways, so the, the point of the matter is the fact that yes, it's a successful launch. Yes, there's been a lot of positive changes, but it's not a perfect product by any means. And it, that was pointed out by Greg in this instance where he showed proof of this cluster um, and talks about the fact that, hey, you know, uh, this is a extremely overvalued without a consistently working product. So you're gonna see this kind of back and forth. But either way, I do wanna just kind of showcase a few last things for this project. So uh, ATH, Aether Cloud, and Ionet both launched. Uh, both have a, a pretty large valuation. Um, I think when you look at some of the opportunities, both of these projects are still worthwhile. They're kind of the new two newcomers to the space. Uh, I do like Aether a little bit better than I like Ionet as a project as a whole, but from a passive income opportunity, you can probably earn more from Ionet from providing your GPU as resources than you would from uh, Aether because with Aether, you would have to either buy the Aether Edge or buy a node. Uh, there's not really other alternative means for passive income within Aether. So just something to consider if you're not looking to spend $1,000 on an Aether Edge device which also only earns you about 23% of the token supply. So um, this was the big thing that, you know, when you look at the transition of what you see um, for Iona, and I think one of the reasons that the launch and the token price has been so successful is the CEO uh, resigned two days before the TGE because of allegations about his past. Like I said, we covered that in a video. But Ionet's been in a lot of conferences. They've been promoting a lot across different summits, uh, and it's been extremely successful. I think there's going to be a lot of attention on Ionet moving forward. Now, the other last thing that I really want to cover, because this directly impacts mining rewards, is the overall uh, tokenomics of Ionet. We're not going to deep dive into that in here, but there is a fixed maximum supply of tokens. There is a initial supply of what we're seeing and a total supply remaining that will be emitted and paid to suppliers and their stakers as rewards. This occurs at every hour. So you can see kind of how the yearly inflation rate, you can see how that slowly decreases over the course of time. Uh, and overall, be, uh, in, in about the course of 20 years is extremely minimal. So the tokenomics itself is quite appealing. Uh, obviously, you're going to have quite a bit that goes to community uh, research and development. Um, and then you do have about 20, I guess about 30% that goes to um, backers, early adopters, and investors. So you can kind of see how the, the token allocations are. Um, and then the majority of it is community rewards starting off. 
Uh, so you're going to see kind of how that uh, progresses as well. Now, if you were one of the individuals that did participate in the Ionet and you season one and you provided your GPUs for rendering purposes, maybe you participated in different events, you were involved in the Discord, you can go to this link, which I will drop down below uh, to claim your airdropped tokens. So this will be available. Uh, claims will be available from the 11th to the 18th. So I highly, highly recommend that you do this before that window closes. That said, it brings us to the end of this video. I think overall, as what we've seen with the likes of Ionet, there's a lot of really good things recently that have changed that I think will point the project to a future success. I think right now the launch itself, as it's pretty evident with $1.8 billion in, in 24 hour volume, it's very hyped. There's a lot of excitement. I think that's going to cool down. We're going to see a kind of floor price for the IO token. And a lot of people are going to start looking for uh, the utilization to ramp up compared to the overall supply available of GPUs. There's some bugs that have to get worked out, but overall, pretty excited to see where Ionet goes. The change of leadership, I think, is a huge, huge plus from a community perspective. And in the end, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the future of this project. Are you going to continue to participate? Are you con concerned about the future of Ionet? Or do you think some of the recent changes and developments have really uh, change the, the, the course for this project as a whole. Leave your thoughts, comments down below. Enjoy this video, smash up like, enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, stay invested.